thousand songs and the anointing wouldn't have been on like these two. We have to praise the Holy Ghost for the guidance and revelation. We want to give him all glory and all honor. You can sing some of the greatest songs of the church and it's just music and words. Beautifully done. But the Holy Spirit, they hadn't any idea. He said, number two, number 11. And here the Holy Ghost uh, has anointed. And we were supping, we were eating, we were feasting, we were thrilled, we were blessed. Because Jesus has come. Amen. Amen. Take care of the wounds. Take care of the wounds. And moving us towards Zion. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. See, it's just been a guess. The music committee could have worked for how many weeks and never figured this out. In fact, we didn't know they were going to sing only just a few minutes ago. And the Lord said, number two and number 11. Amen. And here we have feasted. If we had just missed go back to room pray all day, it'd be worth the whole day. Uh, we've already eaten. We've already feasted. Have you got some more room? <laughs> We want to praise the Lord for it. Amen. We want to give Him all the glory and all the praise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. We want to give God the glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I just went over and said to the pastor, a man of the living God, a servant of Jesus, I said, have you ever heard these dear ones sing under any greater anointing? He said, never, never. Just think here at the 9th of July of 91, God come down, anoint these precious uh, servants of Jesus Christ and feed us upon the Lamb and the light. Praise God. What's something you excited about? People get excited over football games. We've got to get excited about the leading of the Holy Ghost and the message of Jesus and the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much. No, wait just a minute. You're going to sing again. I thought you were gone. Oh, my. I don't know if it's a thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand, but there's a many angels here, I'll tell you that. Number eight. Number eight. Oh, praise the Lord. His heart set still, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Just think what Jesus has done for us. He's helped us, refreshed us, lifted us up. Fed us at the table with good things, with the best of the meat and the finest of the wheat. Amen. The holy delicacies of a sacred word in song and the, the precious words of Zion. True. Jesus has come. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Shepherds told us about it. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the angels. Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. Any leading on your heart before they sing? Any praise for the Lord before they sing? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's an old story, but it's ever new. It's a story that's in the Word, but the Word of God is a book where the stories, old as they be, it's the only book where these stories are living can come out of the book and dramatically reenact themselves in our hearts and in our minds and in a place like this. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When the angels sang originally on that night over the hillsides of Bethlehem of Judea, they were thrilled. Amen. They rejoiced, it says, with exceeding great joy. Other historical events, they take place. They happen. We read about them in history books. We try to imagine what it was like. But they happened. We talk about them. That was it. They're gone. It's past. You read about it. But that's all. That's it. But this kind of history, yeah. this kind of event, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the, Lord. the movement of God, the living Word of God, oh, thank you. That's in my heart. when you talk about it, yes. when you sing about it, yes. when you testify about it, when you read about it, it comes alive again. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I was in Muskegon. 
I talked to a man who had been taught by one of the men who had been converted in the Wales Revival back in 1904 and 5. So precious. And he said, you know, they talk about revival. And they say, there's a revival over here or yes. a revival over there. Yes, yes. He says, you know, it doesn't move me much no. because I was there when God really moved in revival. <laughs> yes, yes, he yes. said, I was born in the fire. Yes. And when you're born in the fire, the smoke won't satisfy you. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm glad to be in a place where there's fire. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right, help me, help me. A place where we are Thank told you, and told with straightly and told with love. So great, Paul. And under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, oh, and death. how we get to revival. Yes. I'm talking about the real thing. Yes, yes, the real thing. True yes. revival. Great revival. The when they sang praise, 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 praise. about angels rejoicing <laughs> oh, my. and about heaven coming down. Oh, yes. It was reenacted in this place. Amen. Oh, I felt The it. Holy oh. Spirit got hold of it, and we were stirred in our hearts. Yes. Sure, there were angels flying all over the place. Praise the Lord. Certainly, there was glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Because the truth of this comes alive and gets in our hearts. Amen. And it brings a peace that what? Passes all understanding. Hallelujah. We sang the other night, if you're not walking, start while I'm talking. Amen. That's the great thing about it. <laughs> you can walk up the King's Highway, yes. you can get in on it any time from the back row to the front to the platform. He's all over the place this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God for this exhortation, this sharing. We give you the praise. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, anybody is noticing you, you all knew that wasn't in the program. See, all this not been in the program. We didn't know what was going to happen. And only God could do this. Come on, a servant like this, and give this what we've just heard for the glory of Jesus as the songs of Zion, exhortation of the Holy Spirit in inspiring inspiration, praise the Lord, demonstrated of the love of Jesus on the works of the kingdom of God, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Love.